Hi, my name is David Buer. I'm a product manager with Leviton Manufacturing. Today I'm going to walk you through our Sapphire demo kit, show you the parts, the components, and talk to you a little bit about how we demo the product. So here's we have the demo kit, and when you order a demo kit, this is what you get. You get this whole bag, and everything I show you today is included in the kit. So today we're going to start by opening up. So inside the demo kit, we have all of the components. We've got the touch screen, we've got color change kits, we've got the display bases and the like. So when I'm getting things set up, I set out the base. We'll take the touch screen out and set it in the base. Uh, when you set it up, make sure the Leviton logo is on the bottom. There's a power supply. Plug into the two-pin header. There's also a cable in the box that you use to plug into the wall. So for purposes of the demo here, I'm just going to plug it right here into our power outlet in the middle of the table. Now the touch screen is going to go through its power up boot up process. It takes, oh I don't know, about uh, 30-45 seconds to get booted up. It's actually a three step process for getting booted up. And while it's coming up, you'll see the screen will blink at you a couple times. It always tells you down here in the bottom what it's doing. So, you know, that's normal behavior. Now, other things in the kit, there are three color change kits. Uh, there's the white, the light almond, and then we have the black. So all three colors are provided in the kit. Now, when you purchase the touch screen, you have to buy the faceplate and the base unit separately. Okay, so you'll get just the touch screen ready to install into the wall, and then you order whatever color frame that you want as a separate part number with the order. Uh, in the demo kit, though, we have them all in there and ready to go. The other thing that we have in the kit, we have a USB stick. Now, on that USB stick, we have data sheets, CSI specs, we have the latest and greatest firmware for the device, uh, and we have some default configuration files. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you real quickly how to do a firmware update, uh, what that looks like, what the process is like. Then I'm going to show you how to load a configuration file. And then after that, um, we'll show you some bits and pieces about the touchscreen itself. So first, all of the firmware updates and configuration is in the USB port. Uh, you just plug your USB stick in, and then everything else is going to happen from the menus. So how to get to the USB port. The faceplate has two hooks here on the top that it just sits on, and it just folds down over the top. In the bottom down here, there are two screws. I'll show them to you here. We have them right here. And once the faceplate is put on, you just unscrew those screws until they're snug and the faceplate's locked on. Of course, getting the faceplate off is just the reverse. You screw the screws in until they're, until they're snug, and then the faceplate will just slide right off. All right, so to do a firmware update, you put the firmware on the USB stick. It must be in the root of the stick. Uh, it's a file that starts with like 0R in the front, then there's a bunch of digits, and it ends in a .zip extension. And again, you just throw that on the USB stick. Uh, and then down here, you hit the reset button. It's going to go through its power-up process. It's going to ask you, do you want to update firmware? You'll select your firmware file, hit the Yes button, and then you'll be off and running. We have step-by-step -step instructions elsewhere that walk you through that. You're welcome to pull them off of the website. But very easy, very straightforward process. The next thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to load a configuration file. Once you've got the config file on your USB stick, just like firmware, it's a zip file, you quite simply come down here and you push and hold on the date and time down here in the bottom of the screen. It's going to take you into the administration screen. Now you'll see at the administration screen, the only options available to you right now are software version and sign in. Hit the sign in button, enter your username, enter your password. Once that's done, all of the other options will be available to you. You can hit the import configuration button, load the configuration off the USB stick, and it'll load the config and you're off and running. Now, one thing to note, all of the configuration files must start with Sapphire UX. That's how we give them to you. Do not change the front part of that file name. After the Sapphire UX, you can set the name to anything you want. So I like to do an underscore and then the project name or an underscore and then the demo name. And of course, that will be a zip file. So it doesn't matter so much what it is. Uh, but it's got to start with Sapphire UX. You load the configuration. Once all of that's done, uh, again, you hit the exit button. 
it'll show you the configuration that you have just loaded. And again, both for firmware update and for configuration loading, we have step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that on the website, so you can use that as really your reference. I just kind of wanted to introduce you to it today. Moving on through the demo, touch screens, I like to introduce them as doing the same kind of lighting control that we're doing with our other products. The only difference here is that it is a touch-based interface. Now the advantages of the touch-based interfaces are that you can create buttons, sliders, preset groups, and create that functionality specific to your job site requirements. So you're not stuck with a four button station or a one button station. You could have two buttons and five sliders or 24 buttons and no sliders. You know, it's pretty much left up to your imagination what that user interface looks like. Uh, but you have all of that flexibility. Now, in addition to that, we support multiple pages on the touch screen. We represent pages as tabs. So you can see on the demos, we have one, two, or three tabs on the demos, and each tab gives you a different set of functionality. So when I'm demonstrating a, a touch screen to somebody, I like to walk them through each of those tabs. I use them to show the uh, different functionalities that you can get, what a preset button is, what a preset group is, how that works, what is a toggle button, what's a raise lower button. And I just use those pages, each with different functionality to show how it works. Now those configurations, kind of the default demo configurations, are on the USB stick ready to go. And we've got three different look and feels there that you can load. Uh, and in fact, what I've done here is I've left the USB stick in the unit, but I've secured the faceplate. And when I'm walking through somebody through a demo, I like to demo it like this because I can load the configurations without having to, you know, put on and take off the faceplate in front of them. Now, for those very technical users that want to see, hey, where do I plug into it? What does it look like? Then you take it off, show them the details, and that's okay. The other thing I like to do is I like to use the stand. You don't always have to show it face forward. You can flip it around and walk people through the receptacles on the back. Uh, we, of course, have power, which is where we're plugging the demo from. The green connectors are the Lumican connectors. Now, the Lumican connectors is what we're using for our primary connectivity at this phase in the project. Wraps up my introduction to you about the demo kit. Uh, again, uh, feel free to take it, use it, show it. They are available and they are shipping now, and we've sent information to you on how to order those through our marketing bulletins. Thank you for your time. If you need anything else, please feel free to get a hold of myself or our marketing department. My name's David Buer. Marketing can be reached at lesmarketing, one word, at leviton.com. Thank you.